What's going on guys? Welcome back to the channel. Critical Overload here. So we're going to be talking about Crystal Lake in this video here today, Friday the 13th, the upcoming Crystal Lake prequel show that we know is coming. The Peacock hopefully is still coming. We know that Brian Fuller is involved, A24 is involved, and we know Brian Fuller has some stuff that's come out recently that might put this at jeopardy of being released. I hope it's not the case, but I will share my thoughts on that a little later. Uh, I'm mostly going to be talking about giving some clarity on Adrian King's role in the show not who she's playing but more so some specifics about who is writing one of the episodes that she's in someone you've heard about being participated in the show previously i will say uh and i will share some other tidbits that i know have been out there about crystal lake just as a refresher to you guys as to what we could expect plot wise for the show now adrian king has now been recorded saying that Crystal Lake is coming in 2024. But I do want to say that this was right before the writer strike, this audio that's now been released. Shout out to Happy Horror Time for providing us with this information. We know Adrian is supposed to return to the Friday the 13th series in the upcoming Crystal Lake prequel show. I'll give some tidbits on that in a second. King went on in this clip about how Brian Fuller has always been a fan of Friday the 13th or how he's had this passion for the series as well as Mrs. Voorhees. She called him a pit bull with a gorgeous smile because he just would go after what he wanted. King wouldn't say if she's playing Alice but recognized how they have to be realistic about this being a prequel so the chances of her playing Alice seem slim from my perspective. Now what she did not rule out she didn't rule out the possibility that she could be playing Mrs. Voorhees because I'm now starting to think, OK, maybe there's a very strong chance she is going to be our Mrs. Voorhees. She went on to say that Brian Fuller wants the best for everyone and how he's been meeting with everyone like Tom Savini, some of the Jasons. And she believes that Friday the 13th needs a new audience. And that's what Crystal Lake will set out to do if it happens, I'm assuming. She says the characters are so rich and magnificent and she's excited about it. She's Certain fans will love it and will be eager for every episode as the show is airing, as it should be. I should not be watching the show and then as each episode is ending, I couldn't care less about what comes next week. <coughs> the Idol. Uh, Kevin Williamson is writing Adrian's episode as well. So for those of you who remember, Kevin Williamson is going to be writing, writing an episode for Crystal Lake. Now you know that he's writing one of Adrian's episodes. She did say that he's writing the episode that she's in. And then I'm like, wait, 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 hold up. I hope you aren't just in one episode. Then I went, she can't be in just one episode because it's a recurring role from what we've heard in the past, unless that's changed. But I think it's still going to be a recurring role for Miss King. But now we know or have an idea of what Kevin Williamson is doing. He's writing one of the episodes that she is in that's not really giving us too much but it, it's something it's it's something that that we have now now that the strike is over granted again this was recorded before the strikes and it's now just being able to be released since the strikes are over i do want to talk about these possible plot things that you could expect Sinister hasn't posted in a while but they've been they've been uh incredible with their track record when they were posting i hope they come back but Sinister put out last november that some of the other stuff now if you remember also Sinister stuff was the one who had told us crystal lake was coming basically before it got announced and then it got announced but they said this after it got announced some of the other stuff stuff they've heard is that a shady family who owns camp crystal lake are going to be a big focus of the show i've talked about this in the past i just want to do a refresher pamela Voorhees and jason's father will also be involved so it looks like we of course will finally get to meet elias hopefully that's still the plan of course things could have changed with the stuff that's now happened with the strike they also stated that the camp is only one location in crystal lake expect more town politics and other sketchy stuff to be on or to be going on alongside the camp jason prequel drama i'm excited for this show that's all i will say i do want to say this though Brian Fuller and his allegations could cause this to be a problem. Now, on one end, they're just allegations for now. But I will say this. Unfortunately, I've been hearing some detracting things that doesn't bode too well for the show that I hope are not true. And if some concrete things come out, I will divulge a little bit more or disclose a little bit more of what i've heard because right now it's just kind of like a waiting game 
I hope that this show can come out. Adrian seems very excited about it. That's what really would break my heart if it doesn't come out is because she seems ready to go back to camp. I want her to be able to go back to camp. I also think if she's playing Mrs. Voorhees, she didn't say she was. But if she is, she would do a phenomenal job. And I would love to see her iteration of Pamela Voorhees. It could be a nice tribute to uh, Betsy as well. But let me know what you guys think about this down in the comment section below. I'll leave a link to the Happy Horror Times clip in the description so you guys can listen to them. Uh, they are a very good podcast. Also, they are the ones who uh, put out that Kevin Williamson clip that blew up and i've been i have been circulating it a few times on my channel but i'll leave a link to it in the description if you haven't already of course make sure you subscribe turn on post notification and there's a video in the description i'll have links on my social media accounts i'm on facebook twitter and instagram you can message me there of course let me know if there's any movies news or reviews you'd like me to cover in the future one last time shout out to happy horror time and with all that in mind guys i will see you in the next video